Hello everyone. In today's Cretaceous profile, we're going to be doing is is one of the last Kakarotata Surid, and that is Zhao Chilong. It's an extinction of Kakarotata Surid dinosaur from the mid Cretaceous. It lived between 94 to 89 million years ago. From the late Cinemanian to the end of the Tyrarian stage. About 92 million years ago. It is from the Ulansai Formation of China. The type species, S. Maotarensis, was originally named Chilatasaurus Maotarensis, but was redescribed and reclassified in 2009. It was one of the last known Kakartotosaurids to walk the earth alongside Mapusaurus from Argentina. They were the only members of the family to live until the end of the Tyrian Epoch, meaning that they have never met Chasmosaurines, Citrosaurines, Labiosaurines, or Sorolophines, or even Tyrannosaurids, and etc. But this one, from the formation, did live alongside Gobisaurus, a basal, and Calosaur, Cynocephale, a Pachycephalosaur, and Cynothromimus, an Onothomimosaur. That lived alongside it. So those are the only three animals that this one, this Shao Jilong, has met. The material referred to Shao Jilong, I V P P V dot two eight eight five dot one dash seven consisted of. Skull fragments. Axis and six. Cardo vertebrae, a fragmentary left maxilla, was also referred to the species. Although it has appear apparently gone missing as of 2009, although these are believed to belong to the single individual. Uh, Leto or Lecto type was established in 2010 to accommodate for possible of a that the specimens came from this from multiple individuals. The Lecto type consists of brain case and partial skull roof. All of these specimens were discovered in Inner Mongolia and described by Hugh in 1964 as the species Chintasaurus. The genus was informally named Ashonsaurus by Chair in the year 2000. Here's a size comparison to a human. Not that big. The individual which IVPPV2885.1 belong, belonged to was probably adult or nearly adult individual due to the fusion of many elements of the brain case. Xiao Qi Long's length based on based on the length of the maxillary teeth row tooth row is estimated at five to six meters, sixteen to two, twenty feet. Estimated the length of the femur is sixty one point five centimeters, which is suggests 
the whole animal weigh approximately 500 kilograms. This made Xiao Qi Long in uncharacteristically small Kakar Dot in contrast with other members of the family which were among the largest carnivorous animals on earth. Nevertheless, as an ambiguous example of a fairly large carnosaur in the middle Cretaceous Asia. It provides information on the ecosystem of this setting and is evidence that Cacarnotosaurids persisted through the middle Cretaceous and that large Tyrannosaurids did not dominate dominate Laurasia until the very end of the Cretaceous. Meaning they have never met. What whatever caused the last Cacartosaurid or its other kind to be extinct remains a mystery. Either competition or, or climate change or its prey disappearance. Like I said before with Amaposaurus and the Giganotosaurus video, it wasn't a sudden like a sauropods that caused their extinction. Because remember, sauropods were very common in the Cretaceous. But they would have prey other, other animals like iguanodonts and nodosaurs. For its classification, Xiao Qi Long's final genetic analysis indicates that Xiao Qi Long is deeply nested within Kakartosaurid, the most derived group among the Allosaurids. Xiao Qi Long appears to be more closely related to the Gondwanan Kakartosaurids, like Tyrannotitan and Cacarodontosaurus, Mapusaurus, and Giganotosaurus, then the Laurasian ones, such as Neophenator and Acrocathosaurus. Xiao Qi Lung is the youngest known Laurasian allosaurid suggested, suggesting that basal tetarins were not, not Tyrannosaurids were still the dominant group of large body theropods in Laurasian during the mid Cretaceous, and that the, re the rise of Tyrannosaurids as the dominated group of large terrestrial predators was sudden and confined to the very end of the Cretaceous. And unfortunately, the Cacarodontosaurids are now extinct. But there are some records that it could have possibly reached the Campanian stage. But there is no evidence if they ever reached that stage. Past the Terrarian age, they were replaced by the smaller Abelisaurids in Gondwana and by Tarnasaurids in North America and Asia. While some teeth and a maxilla discovered in Maschichthian Asia, sorry, wrong, I meant discovered in Maschichthian deposits of Brazil, this identification had been subsequently rejected and the material assigned 
to Abeli Surit after better examination. And there are no reliable records of Kokontot sores in South America beyond the end of the terrarian. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and after some time I I have the, I got the microphone so I can record videos on a without it without the camera on a phone. But if it doesn't work well you'll you'll have to take a guess. Anyways, see you later guys.